hello guys and welcome back to this channel in today's video we have another episode of wasi preparation for integrated science today we are going to solve more questions on electrical energy we are going to focus on voltage resistance current and power of a circuit so for our first question that is wasi june 2019 question 1c we are going to solve ii using simple wave diagram explain half wave rectification so you are going to explain half wave rectification using a simple wave diagram so basically when we talk about electrical rectification it is the conversion from an ac to dc now before we explain half wave rectification let's talk about ac waveform now an ac waveform is a waveform that takes a sinusoidal shape so now let's draw the ac waveform so for an ac waveform you can either have a voltage versus time graph or a current versus time graph now in this video we are going to use a voltage versus time graph so this is the ac waveform this is how an ac waveform looks like Now we call this the positive half cycle and then we call this the negative half cycle. So from this point to this point, we have one full cycle. And from this point also to this point, we have another full cycle. And from this point to this point, we have another full cycle. So now to perform half wave rectification, the first point is the alternating current or voltage is made to pass through a diode. Now basically when we talk about a diode, a diode is a device that allows current to flow in only one direction. So first of all, an alternating current or the alternating current is made to pass through the diode. So for those of us who don't know how a diode looks like, this is the symbol for a diode. We have the negative side which is called the cathode and the positive side which is the anode. Okay, now the second point is the diode allows only one half of the alternating current or voltage which is in one direction to pass through. Now the operation of the diode is such that it allows the positive half cycle to pass through and blocks or clips off the negative half cycle. So let's look at how the waveform looks like after it has been rectified. So we have V against T. So we are saying that the diode allows only one half cycle which is the positive half cycle and then it blocks or clips off the negative half cycle. So we have the positive half cycle, the negative half cycle has been clipped. We have positive half cycle and then the negative is clipped off. So in summary, we say that to perform half wave rectification, first of all, the alternating current is made to pass through the diode. Then the diode allows only one half of the alternating current or voltage which is in one direction to pass through. So after rectification, this is how the waveform is going to look like. So this is the half 
wave rectified diagram so this is an alternating current or voltage and this is direct current or voltage now let's solve our second question for today our second question happens to be Novdeck 2018 question 1c we have a diagram here and we are supposed to calculate the effective resistance in the above circuit okay so we have a voltage source we have three resistors we have two ohm resistor another two ohm resistor and then a three ohms resistor we are to find the effective resistance in the above circuit now when we talk about effective resistance it is the same as the total resistance okay so they are the same effective resistance and total resistance are the same now there are two things that we need to consider when two resistors are connected in series we have the same current flowing through them so if you have two resistors connected in this way it means that they are connected in series so we are going to have the same current flowing through them okay now when two resistors are connected in parallel we have different current flowing through them so if you have a connection like this then it means they are connected in parallel so we are going to have different current flowing through them assuming that this is the total current flowing through to this junction okay we are going to have part of the current flowing in this resistor and then also we are going to have the other part flowing through this resistor so we have two different currents flowing through the resistors r1 and r2 respectively now let's move on to solve this question assuming that we have current being driven by the voltage source through the connecting wires through to this point now at this point the current is going to divide so we have part of the current flowing through this direction and then we have the other part also flowing through that direction now because we have two different currents flowing through the respective path or the respective resistors it means that this set of resistors is in parallel with this set of resistor because we have two different currents flowing through the two sets of resistors we say that they are connected in parallel again let's focus on these two resistors now the current that leaves in this direction is the same current that flows through this resistor and then that same current also flows through this resistor so it means that the current that flows in this direction is the same current that flows through these two ohms resistor and then these two ohms resistor so it means that because we have the same current flowing through these two resistors it means these two resistors are connected in series now to find the equivalent resistance we need to combine these two resistors in series and then we add to this resistor in parallel so that is exactly what we are going to do so let's start the calculation so first of all we are going to um, consider the series resistors before that let r1 be 2 ohms r2 be 2 ohms and then r3 be 3 ohms now the total resistance for resistors connected in series is given by rt equals r1 plus r2 now because we are going to combine this set of resistors with this 3 ohm resistor let's say this is rt1 so r1 plus r2 is equal to 2 plus 2 
and then RT1 is equal to 4 ohms. So RT1 is the combination of these two resistors. So this part of the circuit is going to look like this. So this is RT1, which is 4 ohms, and then this is R3, which is 3 ohms. So clearly, you see that they are connected in parallel. So now let's solve for resistors in parallel. Now the total resistance for resistors connected in parallel is given by 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Now in our case, we have R3 and then RT1. So we say 1 over RT1 plus 1 over R3. RT1 is 4. R3 is 3. So when you find the LCM, it's 12. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 times 1 is 4. So that is 7 over 12. So we have 1 over RT to be 7 over 12. Now let's cross multiply. We are going to have 12 equals 7 RT. Because we want to find RT, we divide through by 7. And then we have RT to be 12 over 7 ohms. Or better still, 1.71 ohms. So this is how to find the equivalent resistance for the circuit above. Now let's move on to the next question. So in our third question, two lamps, each of resistance 3 ohms, are connected in parallel. The arrangement is then connected across a 4.5 volt battery. I, we are to draw a circuit diagram for the arrangement. I, I, calculate the effective resistance of the lamps. I, 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 calculate the total current in the circuit. Okay. Now let's put down the information that we derive from the question. So we have two lamps. Each of resistance 3 ohms. And they are connected in parallel. So now let's draw the circuit diagram for the arrangement. So this is a parallel connection. We have the lamps. This is the first lamp. And this is the second lamp. Of resistance. 3 ohms each. So R1 is 3 ohms. R2 is 3 ohms. And then they are connected across a 4.5 volt battery. So we have the two connected across a 4.5 volt battery. So this is the circuit diagram. very simple so this is i now let's move on to ii we are to calculate the effective resistance of the lamps now we have r1 3 ohms r2 also 3 ohms so these are the resistance of the lamps the two lamps now we are going to find the effective resistance. Now the effective resistance for resistors connected in parallel is given by 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So this is equal to 1 over R1 is 3, R2 is also 3. Now when you find the LCM, it is 3. 
3 divided by 3 is 1 times 1 is 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 1 is also 1. So we have 1 over RT equals 2 over 3. Okay. So let's cross multiply. So we are going to have 3 equals 2 times RT. We divide through by 2. We have RT to be 3 over 2 ohms or 1.5 ohms. So this is II, the effective resistance of the two lamps. Now for III, we are going to calculate the total current in the circuit. The total current in the circuit. Now from Ohm's law, from Ohm's law, we know that V is equal to I times R. We have the voltage as 4.5 volts. And then we have the total resistance or the effective resistance as 1.5 ohms. So basically, if you want to find the current, current is given by voltage divided by the resistance. A voltage is 4.5 volts, resistance 1.5 ohms. So 4.5 divided by 1.5 is 3 so we have i equals 3 amperes so this is the total current in the circuit